Today, we're going to continue talking about factors that will help your credit score improve. You ready? Let's go. A couple of weeks ago, we made a video on how I increased my credit score by over 200 points in 18 months. We touched on a lot of factors, but today I want to get a little further in depth with some of them. There are several factors that affect your credit score. First is the number of open accounts you have, your types of credit. Having more types of credit is actually good for you because it shows your lenders that your debts are diversified and that you manage your money properly. Your payment history is a very important one. You definitely want to keep those payments on time. The more delayed they are, the worse it is for your credit. Up to 30 days can impact you, but up to 90 days can impact you even more. Another one is utilization. Uh, we talked about this in the last video on credit. Basically, you want to keep your utilization under 30%. If you have $1,000 available in credit, try to keep that under 30%. You could spend up to $300 on that card without it seriously affecting your credit. Any higher than that, it causes your credit to dip a little. Inquiries is another thing, or credit pulls. When you are applying for a home loan, or auto loan, or a new credit card, or a money loan, the agency that you're applying with will want to see your credit report. That's called a hard pull. Here's a tip about that. Doing more than one of those per day will not affect your credit as much. That tip comes thanks to Rose Gold, because I wasn't aware of this one. But basically, if you're applying for a car loan, and a credit card, home loan, you want to bundle those up into one day if you can, because if you do more than one pull per 24-hour period, it only shows up on your credit as one credit pull. Another thing that affects your credit is collections. It's pretty obvious. There's some things about collections. One, when an account is in collection, you're no longer paying that money to the original debtor. So say you buy something for Best Buy and then you can't pay for it and it goes to collections. What happens is that account is bought by what's called a debt collection agency. So they usually buy that for pennies on the dollar. So now you're not paying Best Buy now. Now you're dealing with that debt collector. To remove an account from your collections will affect your credit in a very positive way. To do that, you usually have to negotiate with your debt collectors. Two things. One, bear in mind that when you contact a debt collector to remove something from your collections account, negotiating with that debt collector starts the clock. What I mean is most collections will stay on your account around seven years. Say two years has passed and now you want to improve your credit, you want to contact the debt collector. Be ready to pay that account off as quickly as possible after negotiating with that debt collector because once you contact them, that restarts the clock. So now you no longer have five years remaining for that to fall off of your debt collection. Now you're back to seven years. So be ready to pay that off as quickly as possible. Another thing is don't mention when you're negotiating with the debt collector, don't mention removing that from your credit report. Make the arrangement for the settlement first and then talk about removing it from your credit report. But basically, the reason we're going to do this is because if you contact the debt collector and they know that you're trying to remove something from your credit report, they see you as being slightly more desperate. And that puts you in a bad negotiating position because they're not going to offer you as much of a good deal as you would ordinarily get if you were a little more casual about it. Basically, make the settlement offer, get them as low as you can, and then discuss removing it from your collections. All right, so there's some more tips that will help you guys improve your credit. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. New episodes every Monday and Friday. Talk to you guys soon.